Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today I'm going to tell you guys how to get all 7 of the new Purunga Dragon Balls for set 2 of this year's Thank You Celebration Purunga Campaign on Global. Now, before we jump in, I do have a quick confession to make. Um, I honestly had no idea that all of the conditions for all 3 sets of balls were already available to us from day one of the campaign. You know, in the last video, I was like, yo, we only have the clues for set one right now, so we'll start with those, and then I'll keep you guys posted for set two and set three. But no, we had all the conditions, I just didn't know where to look at the time, so it's my bad, but just to uh, maintain consistency, we're still gonna do this week by week, so in this video, we'll do set two, and then next week, we'll do set three, okay? so. Uh, yeah, with that said, let's start with the 1 star Dragon Ball for set 2, which is uh, available or is currently available. It came out on November 11th, and to get this 1 star ball, you have to click on the secret banner image, which is located at the end of the bottom images at the home screen. So basically, go to your home screen and go to those like scrolling banners at the bottom and uh, just scroll through them, and you'll find one with like a bunch of stars on it, click on that one, and you'll get the one star Dragon Ball for set two. Now moving on to the two star ball, which will be available on November 12th. You just have to Dokkan Awaken any character once. So choose a unit, you want to Dokkan Awaken, Awaken them, and you'll get that two star ball. For the three star ball, you have to level up any super attack once, and this is going to be available on November 13th. Okay, so level up a super attack, with a Kai or the same unit, whatever you want, and you'll get that three star ball. For the uh, four star ball, available on November 14th, you have to clear any stage with at least seven rainbow key spheres collected during the boss battle. So I'm guessing that means not the final phase, just the entire fight. So if you want to increase your chances of getting seven rainbow key spheres, then maybe bring a uh, rainbow orb changer, but for the most part, if you take on like an average Dokkan event, you should collect at least seven rainbow key spheres. So take on an event, uh, you know, try to collect as many rainbow key spheres as you can. And then once you clear it, you'll get that four star ball. And then for the five star ball available on November 15th, you have to purchase goods at Baba's shop with trade points. And I'm pretty sure you can buy literally anything. Like if you want to buy a copy of one of those uh, Baba Drop units, or you want to buy, uh, you know, some training items, some uh, support memory, whatever you want, just use trade points to purchase something, and you'll get your 5 star ball. And then for the 6 star ball, available on November 16th, clear a stage in under 1 minute. Pretty self explanatory, and there's a lot of events in the game where you can clear it within a minute, like. Uh, you know, one of those hidden potential orb stages or the Master Roshi's training and so on and so forth. Just choose a short stage, clear it under a minute, and you'll get your 6 star ball. And finally, for the 7 star Dragon Ball, available on November 17th, use a Senzu Bean. So go into any event, make sure you bring a Senzu Bean as one of your support uh, items, use it at some point during the event. And uh, yeah, once you clear it, you'll get your seven star Dragon Ball. Then you'll have the full set for set two. Uh, you go over to your, you know, um, I forgot what the tab is called, but basically where you like choose your teams and stuff, right? Click on uh, the, you know, Purunga bun, summon Purunga, make your wishes, and then we can move on to set three from there. So. That's it guys, that's uh, set 2 of this year's Purunga campaign for the thank you celebration. Like I said, we'll talk about set 3 when we get there, but they are available now so you guys can go over to the Dokkan Info website if you want to and uh, you know look at those clues, but in terms of this video, that's all there is to say. Um, in terms of witches though, I do think the best ones are uh, Kai's, right, for super attack. Um, I would definitely go for the Dokkan Festival tickets, just because I feel like it's good value. That's like, you know, 10-15 stones worth of summons, so 
it's not bad. And then the third one is up to you, but I think uh, potential orbs are always good, or uh, meat for stamina, always good as well. So uh, yeah, good luck with your wishes. Uh, those are the clues, and that's the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.